To understand how a program like ChatGPT works, I trained an AI to learn to write in the style of William Shakespeare. We trained uh, what we like to call affectionately baby GPT models. So these are really tiny programs that are learning the basics of language. At the very initial stage is an untrained neural network. It actually has not read any Shakespeare. It's just guessing random characters. It's something that it would be great if it was a password generator, but it's really far from the works of Shakespeare. After 250 rounds of training, it's already started to learn a few things. The letters it's using are mostly English letters. It's already starting to learn small words, things like be, at, the, there's even the word Rome in there. So after 5,000 rounds of training, we're starting to see a lot of improvements, but its vocabulary has grown a lot. So it's making larger words as well. It's also starting to use grammar. So you're starting to see commas, full stops. It's starting to use stage directions, which is really fun. So it says things like enter Pompeii, uh, which is the kind of thing that it's seen a lot in the text. So after 30,000 rounds of training, it's starting to produce some, you know, remarkably poetic sounding phrases. So it says things like, Rome, and so become the tower of Saint and Antony, to make them that belong to the proper sphere, of gold that breeds forth thou must like the stars, but they are sent soldiers, her window in their states. This is total nonsense, but it kind of mimics the style of writing of Shakespeare. If you train it for much longer, it doesn't really improve dramatically. In order to learn more about language, what you really need to do is train this on much more data, many, many more words. And that's what some of the models like the ones behind ChatGPT are doing. The other thing you need is just much more computing power. It's almost a toy experiment. It's something that I did for one hour on my laptop. In reality, you would have hundreds of specialized computers that are running around the clock for weeks, even months. You often think that there's some kind of intelligence or a, a mind there, but it's nothing like that. And it's just learning statistical patterns of letters. 